All right, guys, welcome back to Alliance War number six in season 25. This is uh, the first one I was able to record with uh, my new alliance. I'm still on path nine. Uh, this one, uh, my second account was back up and didn't wasn't needed at all. So this is going to be a nice short war, but we got some good fights. We got um, Doc Ock, the rank two unduped one on the main account with the uh, CGR and Magneto. So we're going to go in against this long shot on hazard shift. Um, with uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, basically, we can hit in at the very beginning, and we've got to just be careful uh, to uh, parry and back off during the poison phase. So we can attack him during the incinerate phase there. I kind of missed my timing there for a second on the uh, end of his uh, special one. Now we're back to normal. So that's fine. So just in the poison phase, I'm just going to parry. Um, here he's on the... Um, like he's gonna, is, what is it? Uh, he gets he easily gets to one bar of power, but then not to two, which is fine because I don't mind. Uh, I'll evade his special one all day long. I just don't want. I hate evading his special two. So, if anything, I'll just uh, try and bait him into special ones here. So there now I don't get to really take advantage of my armor breaks too much because I gotta back off during the uh, poison phase, but that's okay. And we have a nice other fight in uh, um, for CGR in the boss circle. So uh, this is this is just a opening round for him. I think already for the next war, I get to bring in uh, both accounts and run two full path eight and uh, eight and nine. So, but for this one, it's just path nine, and uh, I think we've got just one fight in the boss circle, and that's fine. I'm happy. We've got other guys who can take bosses. Gives me a little bit of a break, so I'm I'm fine with that. If they need me to take down a boss, I will be more than happy to try and do it, to set it up and, and go for a boss kill. Again here, I, I'm a nervous to, to, I don't want to get screwed at the end of that uh, special two, so I just kind of took it on the block, and that's fine. I've got a, it's a six star rank three CGR, I've got plenty of uh, health there. Here we go, and we can finish off this long shot. So one fight down, let's go the next one. We've got this mini on the right side, the stunning reflection. Um, uh, sorry, the encroaching stun uh, domino with power reserve. So I brought in uh, Doc Ock for this one. Just throw uh, an advanced power boost just so that uh, uh, make sure I'm always ready to throw a special. Here we're going to try and... Um, counter her uh, mediums throw an intercepts there I have to be a little careful when she has that lucky on but I just want to be prepared to get my special off so right after she throws hers I see the stunning reflection timer going so there we get a nice full combo into a special two with the power lock on that is great Bait another heavy there. Ready here to intercept with, uh, like, uh, I just want to get off the special two. Perfect timing. Right before the encroaching stun. Bait another special two. And the, most of the damage I'm taking on this fight is just from critical failure. It's barely, not even really the block damage or anything. It's just uh, the annoying critical failure here. And she's down, so pretty happy with that fight. I've screwed that one up a couple times in the past, not necessarily against Domino, but that encroaching stun timer I've messed up in the past, so I was happy that one worked out really well. Here we got Window of Opportunity stun, one eye open um, against Stealth Spidey. He's hashtag metal, so I like bringing in uh, Magneto for this one. Here uh, it works out pretty well. I really I do want to get rid of his um, evade. Like here, I got rid of the evade. I think it, uh, I'm already thinking about my most recent war, where I kind of took a couple hits here, um, or against a. It was on a different node, but same same idea. But here we go. He has suicide masteries on, so it's pretty straightforward. This one goes down easy. Next, we've got a dragon man. Now here, I totally I haven't fought dragon man on this node in a while. It's the window of opportunity stun. 
it's with Magneto. Really, I should always remember that it, <laughs> any I should always be saving up to special three. I totally forgot that um, you end up taking degen damage if you p apply an armor break to um, Dragon Man. So I know he's bleed immune, and I don't want to give him any extra power. So I don't want to use my special one. And then I totally... So I was thinking, okay, don't throw special ones. I don't want to put the bleed on him and give him extra power. So then at a certain point, I go ahead and I believe I drop a special two. And I totally forgot that the special two gives him the armor break. And when he would put an armor break on Dragon Man, then he puts a degen on you. So I didn't really... I, I, I just remember after this fight was over... I looked at my health bar, I'm like, why was I taking so much damage? And I'm so focused on, um, you know, evading his specials and focusing on his animations that you can see right here, I dropped that special tune, put the armor break on him, that I am just ticking away with some degen damage. But again, at the time, I was just focused on um, baiting his specials, going back in, and finishing off the fight. So I wasn't... Uh, like, uh, I wasn't too concerned um, here at all, but uh, when I finished the fight, I looked at my health bar and I said, where did all that, was it block damage? But no, it's just from putting an armor break on him. Next, I healed up my, uh, I threw like a one potion maybe into Doc Ock, and I've got this Sorcerer Supreme Kinetic Transference Power from Afar. Now, this was not the perfect fight at all, but uh, sometimes... The, the AI is, is very tricky in terms of, uh, it's always a dance to try and get the parry heavy game going on every single dash in, and it doesn't always work. So there, the kinetic transference is kind of taken away from, because I had the power lock on when she threw that special one. So as long as I can kind of manage the power locks, see, there, see right there, she hit, th I thought I got a parry, and but it didn't quite work and now I'm kind of stuck my my power lock is building up though so it's I'm not gonna give her too much power from that special one into the block and again the power lock was on for a little bit of it but uh, I what I'd really like is to uh, get into more of the parry heavy game here throw some special twos but uh, again sometimes it's just not um, working there I had to bait a special two now I try and get back into the parry heavy game, keep that power lock on. Um, so it's it's a little tricky, but I, I still like Doc Ock against these, um, you know, increased power gain uh, champions. There we go. Try and get back in. Try and you can see my yellow uh, like um, charge there. Get it when it gets up to a hundred. The yellow circle above me. That's when the power lock is going to uh, get applied. So sometimes you can see, especially on these power gain champions, you can watch that yellow one kind of tick up if you're not sure when the power lock is going to go in. And now we've got the last fight of this war is going to be a stunning reflection killmonger. I bring in Cosmic Ghost Rider, who's going to apply a permanent armor break against villains. And um, Killmonger is a villain, so I don't have to worry about any reverberation. I throw on a Power Start 1, because then it just makes it super easy to get to my Special 2 and kind of cycle through a um, rotation with Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, so here we're going to go in right off the bat. Let's see, we beta heavy... Get the first uh, five hit combo in, apply a second judgment. Now, now we can apply the power gain. Now that should put us to, um, I throw the special one. We technically, I could parry him here, but it's a very short window and I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm more, I'm more focused on the fact that I can go ahead and just hit into him freely, bait his specials. Like, even if I, you know, I don't have to do, I'm not going to be able to, like, parry and heavy into that special too, but it doesn't really matter. I just want to go ahead and uh, treat him kind of as stun immune the entire time, and uh, it works out great. I, I love using Cosmic Ghost Rider against uh, Killmonger now. If I see a tough Killmonger in any content, 
if I can bring in Cosmic Ghost Rider, he's a great counter. There I kind of got lucky. Um, he didn't attack me in there. There we go. Bait another special one up against the wall. Come back out of here. Have that power gain push us to another bar of power. Now technically I can get the parry in, so there we go. Get off another special one, and he's down. So a nice Deathless War to start it out with the uh, new alliance. We'll see in the next one.